This is just a really quick explanation of the different types of immunity that you can get. Um, you can see some pictures here. This is showing antibodies. That's a little baby inside the womb of a mother. Here's a syringe and here's a, a baby who has some kind of disease, maybe uh, measles or something like that. So uh, you can separate immunity into two categories, I guess, natural and artificial. And um, we can also get active and passive. So it's two different types of classifications. So let's start with natural immunity so natural immunity is just that you can kind of guess from the term natural it just means uh, you get the infection naturally so the pathogen gets into your body somehow and it doesn't kill you and then afterwards you're alive and you should know some of the details we'll go into that a little bit later but basically after you've gotten sick once you're not going to get sick again so you've heard about this through uh, chicken pox that's one thing and then people always freaking out about saying oh I got ch chicken pox when I was a kid uh, but I got ch chicken pox again what's wrong with me everyone's immune system is different there's lots of variation just like with all the other things like height and skin color um, your immune system is one of those things as well there's not just two types of immune systems they vary quite a lot but in general on average most people who are infected with certain things the first time like chicken pox or measles um, and survive to tell the story usually won't be effect infected again and that has to do with the buildup of antibodies so that's natural immunity just uh, getting catching the disease normally getting sick and then not getting sick in the future artificial immunity happens as a result of a getting a shot an inoculation so uh, you get a shot, so they actually expose you to something like the disease. It's usually probably a reduced version of the disease or bacterial cells uh, with something changed about the metabolism. Okay, so maybe it's they're just putting in the bacterial cell walls with the antigens so that your body can try to recognize and produce antibodies. So that's artificial as a result of inoculation. Active means your body is actually producing the antibodies on your own, which is the which is what's happening when through natural immunity, when you catch the disease, your body starts to produce antibodies. And even through artificial immunity, you are this is also considered active immunity because we're infect we're injecting you, injecting you with a pathogen containing specific antigens. Your body still reacts to those antigens and then produces its own antibodies or produces a clone of B cells, lymphocyte, B cell lymphocytes that actually produce that antibody. So it's still active. Okay. So just because it's act, if it's active immunity, that could be the result of natural or artificial immunity. Okay. So think about how these all fit together. Passive immunity is used as a special case. So in terms of passive immunity, antibodies are actually received from another organism. So it's not your own white blood cells that are producing the antibodies you're getting them from somewhere the most obvious example of that is a fetus okay receiving antibodies from the mother or after the baby is born through the breast milk which is called colostrum so the antibodies can be received through the placenta or the colostrum in both of those cases they are produced by the mother